Hello and thank you for joining us for some more friendly chat, some crafty demonstrations and, well, a bit of fun and silliness really. You're watching The Craft Show. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here, of course, on The Craft Show, out of our friendly, crafty home, which is the Craft Centre in Bourne. Big thank you to Alison Bunning for lending us her space, of course, in return for having a look at her website. Please do check that out, www.thecraftcentrebourne.com. I think it is, but it'll be coming up on the screen. Uh, please do take a look at that. So, we are broadcasting, of course, on YouTube. We're not available on regular television. It's online only. So, if you are watching on there, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. That's really, really important to us. Hopefully, you'll give us a thumbs up, too. But hit that subscribe button. YouTube like that. That helps us to get more ratings. And if we get more ratings, we can keep making crafty shows for you to watch at home. Very important indeed. Of course, you can also support us by heading over to our Facebook page which is facebook.com forward slash the craft show tv and give us a little like on there as well now the show is all about crafty contributions and bringing you different things that perhaps you can have a go at at home and today is no different and of course we have another fantastic guest with us today it is marie chesham hey marie Hello. how you doing Fine, thank nice you. Nice to see you. I'm thank very you. well. I'm very well. So, Marie, for anybody that's not seen you out there before, because you're not uh, what we would say call a professional crafter, you're a no, hobby crafter? No, no, I just do this as a hobby, just to pass some spare time. Okay, excellent. So, for anybody that's not seen you out there before, can you just can you tell us a little bit about your background and how, how you came to start doing this? So, I was involved in a car accident a few months back now, um, and having some time on my hands, obviously not being able to work, I yep. got into doing some crafting. So... I do the Scrabble frames, mm -hmm. which are quite popular, and recently I've started doing some bottle wrapping. Fantastic. And the Scrabble frames, I think we've seen uh, on one of the previous shows. Yeah. Of course, you very kindly sent one in to us with the craft show. Um, and very, very nice indeed. And um, again, the bottle wrapping, which we're going to have a go yeah. at today. But mm -hmm. you do a few commissions, don't you? So if somebody wants one of the frames with the names in. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We personalise all the frames. The bottles can even be personalised. I've even, I'll show you at the end, we're going to add a name onto it. So Yeah. And we this is just something you started doing recently as well. Yeah, yeah, very recently. The bottles were, I've only been doing a few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and the frames I started sort of last summer after I had the accident. Excellent. Uh, so if we want to have a look and, and see what you're doing and, and, and get a feel for that and perhaps look at something that we want personalising, mm. where do we have a look? Uh, I've got a Facebook page, mm -hmm. um, Pretty Little Pictures is the name, so you'll find me on there. Excellent, so Pretty Little Pictures on Facebook. Please do support Marie like we support all of our crafters. It's about sharing and the crafty community. Have a look, Pretty Little Pictures on Facebook. So today we're going to do some bottle wrapping. We are. And uh, tell us a little bit about that, because obviously we've got a couple of different bottles here. In fact, we've got some... Uh, Photos, I think we're going to show you some different yep. ones that you've, yep, you've done. Yeah, done a few before. So, what sort of things can we wrap, wrap the bottles in? We can use yarn, which okay. is what we're going to use today. We've also got some twine. Okay. But you can use fabric, you can decoupage the bottles, you can paint them. Mm -hmm. So, there's so much you can do with them, really. And of course, the great thing about something like this is if you're anything like me and Marie, you've probably got a few of these laying around the house here. Maybe just a few. <laughs> So we like that. So of course you probably get you get your hands on the bottles easy, but you get all sorts of interesting shapes. You can get sort of quite big round ones. Yes, yes, I've got a couple and... which you'll see on my website if you have a look. Um, on my Facebook page, sorry, uh, the Ma Matthias bottles. Oh yes, yeah. They're they're quite an awkward shape, um, yeah. but yeah, I've done a couple of those. They're quite interesting and and make good ornaments in your house. And of course, you, not just bottles, you could wrap jam jars and turn them jam into jars, pencil yeah. holders. So yeah, it's for a home can... decoration, gifts for people. Yeah, yeah, you can do frames, you can do MDF letters. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, so yeah, you can do, do lot, a variety of things. A lot of options. Mm -hmm. We like that a lot. I like that. So this is one that you've wrapped. We're going to be decorating this one a bit more later. Yes. But um, what is it that we're going to need if we want to have a go at this at home? So, obviously, to start with, you're going to need your bottle. You're going to need your yarn. You okay. can do a various, you know, your different colours. Obviously, mm -hmm. this one over here I've done into 
two different colours. Mm. Um, we've got our double-sided sticky tape. Okay. You can use PVA, but as we're going, I'll, I can explain more as to why I use... Of course. ...and why I don't use PVA. Scissors, mm -hmm. um, glue gun, okay. your felt, and just and just some embellishments, really. Excellent. And yeah, quite basic. You seem to be a bit of a fan of pink, I've noticed. So we've got we've got pink on the on the bottle there. We've got some pink decorations, and also we've got a pink craft mat and a pink glue gun. Yes, I do like I do like my pink. You do like your pink. <laughs> I like it too. And of course, the good thing about this is you, you, you could be sitting, you could be just sitting on your sofa, can't you? you can, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Just do it at home. Yeah. The kids are running around. Yeah. That's why it's handy for me because I've got children. So I can do it around them, mm -hmm. you know, while I'm cooking their tea. I can five minutes here, five minutes there. So, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Okay, well, uh, without further ado, let's get crafting. Brilliant. So, how do we start? So this one I have already started. Um, mm. The the rim on a bottle um, it can be a bit fiddly. So I've I've started this at home for you this morning. Mm -hmm. Also I've taken off the labels. Mm -hmm. Not a problem if you leave them on. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also a metal seal that goes around the bottles. Okay. Um, ideally you should remove that, otherwise it will slip as you're wrapping. Mm -hmm. How's, um, what's the best way to remove that? Craft knife. Mm -hmm. Scissors, anything that's sharp, a sharp blade, yeah. um, but but be careful. Obviously, it can be a bit bit fiddly, especially because <laughs> the bottles can be a bit slippy. So of course, um, just watch your fingers. And in terms of taking off things like the labels, what have you found is the easiest way to do that? The wine bottles, actually, to be fair, I've not had a problem with. They just peel off. Okay. Um, you don't have to soak them or anything. I've not had to soak any of these. You can see that it's left a little bit of residue, but it's not. It's it not going to. It doesn't matter. You're no. going to be wrapping it anyway, mm -hmm. whether you're using PVA or you're using sticky tape. So. Okay, excellent. So, to start with, mm -hmm. obviously I've already wrapped this one. So what we'll do is we want to get some sticky tape here. So this is double sided. Sticky this is tape. double sided. Yeah. Is that a special tape or just one from the supermarket? I have ordered shop? this online, but you can get this from your local craft shop. Okay. You, you can pick it up at almost anywhere, I'd say. Mm -hmm. So we'll start from where I left off. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you do not need to be neat about this. Because you're not going to see it, or you're not going to see it. No. So we'll wrap it, wrap it round. Mm -hmm. The most fiddliest bit is where the bottle curves. So, so where the neck joins sort of the main Exactly. Bit. So I would make sure that you've got, obviously, quite a lot covered on there. Mm -hmm. Now that's sticking up a little bit at the moment, but of course by the time you take the backing off, it's yeah, just going to press just down, that down, no problem at all. Absolutely. So you just want to peel the backing off. It can be a bit fiddly, but it's not going to come off. I think that's part of the fun though. Fun to see fiddly the fiddly yeah, little jobs. It, you know, it's it's you can take your eye off it. You've not got to concentrate one hundred percent. No. You know, it doesn't matter if the kids are screaming in the background like they are in my house. And my house. That work <laughs> a treat in my house. Because it's a sort of craft that you can be midway through, you can put it down, go and answer the door, you can, yeah. do, you can do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, so I did this at home today, I then bought it in. Um and you know, it's 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 not loosened or anything, it's exactly the same as it was before. Okay, so nice and straightforward. That's it. So I like to keep the, the yarn in my left hand mm -hmm. and then with all you do is you just keep, keep the bottle and just turn it with your hands. Mm -hmm. Every so often you'll want to just slide, slide it up just so you've got it quite tight. I mean this is why I enjoy crafting really because you don't have to have everything perfect mm. um, and we're going to add some embe embellishments towards the end okay so any sort of if you've got a little bit that's that's slipped down you can um you can cover that up quite easy well you know it's, it's you know, crafting is very very popular um of course that's why we've got the craft show and uh we love to see anything that you can do particularly at home and anything that you want to send into us and talking of things that get sent into us behind us this was one of the items actually that was sent into us for the beginning and the launch of the show with the craft show on there that was sent in by uh, dawn mcphee so thank you dawn for sending in uh in that sort of scrapbook page there with the craft show on it. Dawn, we hope you're watching. If you're not watching, where are you? Why aren't you watching? You should be joining us here on the craft show. And you can see on your screen there, it's a beautiful piece and she's used uh, uh, the various cutout butterflies and, uh, and the lettering there. Done a great job. 
Right, okay, so um, we're, we're obviously bottle wrapping. How are we getting we are. on? So we're just making our way down the neck. The fiddly bit's going to come up when we get to, obviously, the curved area of the bottle. And you just so you just sort of gradually pushing that up so it's nice and tight. Yeah, yeah. You'll find that it, is, it, it should keep quite tight, obviously, because we're using the, the double-sided sticky tape. Mm -hmm. However, if we would use... I have tried it with PVA, yeah. Um, but because it's quite slippy, we've got, here? We've got PVA. We've yeah. got PVA here. Um, I normally use PVA with all my my craft work. It's it's brilliant stuff. Um, but with this, with the way the bottle is, obviously it's shiny. Yes. It slips. The wool slips on it. Yeah. Um, so I find the best thing to use is the is the double sided sticky tape. Yeah. But also tried using a a, a glue gun. Mm -hmm. That obviously dries too fast yes uh, yeah. by the time you've made the you've got the yarn run to the other side mm. of the wall glue uh, guns really the... for instant impact isn't exactly it? Mm. yeah yeah and and you want to be able to take your time on this so yeah. you don't yeah. particularly want the glue gun plugged in no. especially not with children about all day long although to start off at the top do you use the glue gun at the at the very outset when you I start don't always with... no um you can do what I've done here is I've actually just tied it so I've tied a knot in it, and then I've just started from there. So I've oh, tied okay. a tight knot at the How top. How do you stop that sliding? Oh, have you got the double-sided tape? We've got tape the double-sided ticket tape oh, right okay. up to the top. So right at the top, double-sided tape right yeah. at the top of the bottle. So you wrap that around tight, nice and tightly, and then as you start to wrap, it, it takes. Yeah. You're okay. Yeah, it just takes right from the beginning, to be fair. Brilliant. So PVA, bit slippery, don't use that. Stick with the double-sided tape. Some people find it easier to use the, the PVA, but my preference is the is a double-sided sticky tape but i'm not saying don't obviously go out and 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 try because people have different preferences mm, mm. and i like the fact that you can use a range of bottles like we mentioned mentioned there. it doesn't have to be your bottles you might if you've got a perhaps uh maybe you wanted to upcycle something perhaps you've got an mm. old lamp and oh, you want yeah, to do definitely. a lamp base or something uh you could replace uh, and again we talked about jar, jars earlier using for the kids for the pencils yeah. and buttons and all sorts of different things. Yeah, you can you can use anything really. I've also I like using the smaller wine bottles. Yes. I think they look look the, quite I nice. I like the like single serves. Just the single serves, yeah. Ah, okay. Not many of those in my house. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Um but <laughs> me, <laughs> moving on swiftly. Um you were telling us a little bit earlier actually about um some bottles that you'd seen. You may have seen them uh, at, at home on social yeah. media on the website. Um, do, what, what had they done? They did a really nice wedding feature with the bottles. Well, I, I got married last year, so mm. I sort of um, looked into these. Yes. Um, and I thought they were amazing ideas. Um, but they've actually got wine bottles. They've um, And they've decorated them using different fabrics. So mm -hmm. that one wine bottle looks like a groom mm -hmm. and the other one looks like a bride. Um, <laughs> so they've put a material on, they've, they've made exactly, it a dress. Yes, yeah. yeah, so they've... they've yeah. They, I mean, they may have used old wedding dresses. They, mm -hmm. They've obviously upcycled some some bits and bobs that they've got at home. Mm. Really nice decoration. And they yeah, had yeah. Mr. and Mrs. on, didn't they? They did, they did. I think, I think there I was saw lots them. of different ones. I'll, um, what I can do is post a picture of them onto my Facebook Ooh, page. Oh, yeah, do that. Where, um, and where can we find your Facebook page? It's Mary? Pretty Little Pictures. <laughs> so you can um, message me through there. Yeah. If you have any queries or questions about mm. any of the, the projects, and you can see all the different craft craft things that i do on there excellent well, you know that's coming together really nicely because i was a little bit concerned about as you follow the the shape of the bottle are you going to end up with sort of ridges or uh, or similar but in actual fact not at all have you this is why i like using you can actually see from the one i've done over there mm. is that this was started with pva and yes. that's why it is a bit a, a bit bobbly yes so on there so you it's, it's not taken quite so well on there because it we've hasn't used P, no. pva but on this one it's really sticking beautifully tightly isn't it it is and it, that's it the double-sided tape so then as you get to the end i'm thinking what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to change the color okay so we'll we'll go for a yellow with it coming coming up to easter yeah and hopefully springs on its way mm-hmm but Fingers crossed. Not counting Without on the weather we've just snow. had. That's good. And um, presumably you could change what you were covering it with. So you could bring it so yeah, far yeah. down maybe and change them for some decoupage in the middle. Exactly. To like a label and then... Um, and so on. How, how much uh, of the wool uh, or the yarn do you think... I mean, that, that that you've got there, would that cover the whole bottle or do you need... That would easily cover the whole bottle. Would it? So yeah, yeah. Quite a long so way. It's, it's, it's not a lot. I mean, 
I normally buy this in bulk mm -hmm. online or from the craft shop mm -hmm. um, and it, it lasts forever to be fair Ooh. and you can mix all the colours up. It's quite handy being able to buy this stuff online now, it's very accessible. It does, mm. but you don't forget the local craft shops that we need to support. support but you obviously. can buy from your local craft shops online as well. You can, you can. Most of them are on um, eBay. Yes. And don't um, forget, if you have a look at, uh, at uh, our home's um, uh, uh, website, which is the Craft Shop Born, the Craft Centre Born, I'm getting in trouble for that, um, <laughs> dot com, have a look on there because uh, on there they sell all sorts of wonderful yarns and all sorts of things that would be ideal for this. Have a look. I'm taking that one because I didn't mean to. No, it's right. you so you're changing the colour? I'm going to change the colour, yeah, with it being Easter. Let's I can imagine having a selection of colours actually on one of these to make it look kind of um, Mexican-y. Like yeah. Mexican you know like there's little piñatas and yeah. sombreros and those kind of... So if you're having like a themed party... You can, you, yeah, you can do any sort of theme, you know, Christmas, mm. Easter, birthdays, mm. weddings like we said before. You can even make that look a bit like Santa. Imagine if that was red but the exactly. bit in the middle was sort of white. Exactly. Um, so it's something you could get. You could. Um, sorry, I interrupted no, you then, that's didn't all right. I? <laughs> you, I might as well go. Yeah. Sorry. Just leave me to it now. <laughs> what were you saying? I was just going to say. I can't remember what we were saying now. <laughs> so we were saying about Santa and Christmas. Yeah. And so it's something you could do with the kids at home. You know, half term and yes. and whatnot. Get the kids involved. Well, do you know what? You forget that because there are a lot of fabulous crafts you can do at home, but they're not always child friendly, are they? And no. this is. Perfect, Perfect. To do with the kids. yeah, yeah. I mean, especially, I mean, you don't have to use glass bottles if you're a bit wary about the children, and especially if they're younger kids. Yes, you can use your plastic, your plastic pot bottles, yes, yeah. beakers, yeah, your beakers, yeah. anything like that. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be the glass, and, and you could do things like wooden spoons, you could have a wooden spoons, of things. course, yeah. I've got loads of ideas now, got all these different we'll ideas, have to come back again, yeah, and we'll bring some other bits. That's good, so. Just cut it off at the end, and then literally you just start again. And so actually, we'll you can't see the join because it's quite fine the yarn, isn't it? It is, and like I said before, with with crafting at home, I don't think I don't think personally it needs to be perfect. It, you know, you want people to realise that it is it is homemade. It mm. isn't something that you've you've bought. Especially well, that, if it's something that you're you're doing yourself. Well, that's what you want, isn't it? Exactly. We don't want stuff that's been churned out of a factory somewhere, do we? And we, you know, that's what crafting is about. It's about the personal touch. Exactly, and you can always add the embellishment. So if you can see, um, just the slight join that's there, you know, we can always add something. We've got buttons here that we can add on to hide those. And bits. we can hide. You can hide those little bits. No one will even know. No. Good stuff. Well, listen. I don't know about you, Marie. Um, but I'm feeling a bit parched. So am I actually. Could do with a crafty brew. Yeah. And those regular viewers will know that that means it's time for a craft show quickie. Hi everyone, it's Amanda from Jelly Babies. I'm going to do your craft show quickie today. And thank you for your poll the other day. We've uh, we've settled on a winner. And it's going to be the light box. You all wanted to see that. So this is what we're going to make today and I'm going to show you right now. So this is what we're going to make. We're going to make the embroidered light box. And it's really great because you buy these 8x8 little box frames. And they're about an inch thick, an inch deep. And they're from the range and they're only £3.47. So they're so cheap. And the great thing about this is it's natural wood so you can stain it. You can paint it to suit your decor. So first thing you need to do, flip your frame over, take the back off and you'll notice that there's an extra little bit of wood in there. So take that out, pop it to one side, take your glass out and give it a little bit of a clean but do be careful because obviously glass edges are sharp so just be careful. And I will show you what you need next. I would advise using a nice bit of cotton calico. It's really nice, you get different different um, weights of it a nice a nice heavyweight one is good this is this is okay this is a medium weight and it was about one pound 65 a meter but it's good because you can really see the embroidery design on it so pop it on your calico your glass frame and I would draw about a centimeter around each edge 
So you've got a centimeter around each edge. Take your scissors or your cutter, straight up there, straight up there, just over an eight inch square. So that when it's on the back, you can just fold your finished piece around. Now I'm going to be doing this embroidery on Big Bertha here. This is my fourth child. She's got six needles, but hobby machines just have the one needle. The frames you will have on a one needle embroidery machine are like this, and you pop them down onto the bed and you slot them on the side. So you would use for this, you would use either your four by four hoop or your seven inch by, oh, I can't remember what this one is, but your slightly bigger one. But for this, I'm gonna be using a fast frame and it's eight inches square, so it fits this design perfectly. Next stage is putting your stabilizer on. Now I swear by this stuff. I've got it in black, but you can get it in white as well. And basically, it's really good for fabrics that have a knit or a weave that may move around a little bit. When you stick it on this, it's fantastic. So I'm just gonna cut some. And then what you do, it's brilliant this stuff. You just peel it off, pop that onto the back, fold it around the edge, and then take your eight by eight piece of fabric. And you should just give it a little bit of a fold so you've got a little point in the middle. And flatten it right down so you don't get any creases or anything that might catch up in the stitches. Embroidery machines are great because you can take down any design off the internet that's in a certain format, save it on your computer and then pop it over to the embroidery machine and then it will stitch it out for you. Let's take a letter U. I'm going to pop it over to my embroidery machine. It will then come up on here. So you click on the U, it'll come up and choose your colours. So set that and that's going to be four inches square. So I've clipped my fast frame into the machine and I'm just going to do a little test spacer to make sure that I've got it centre. So the middle needle, the start needle is going to come down and then I need to make sure that it's going to be in the middle, it traces out the outline. And then once this is okay and we know I've got it in the right place, I can start it off to sew. When your machine has finished, take your frame out, pop it down, and if you do have any loose little threads there, you can always give them a little bit of a snip, and then you just take it off the frame. So it's out of the frame, and you'll notice on the back, you got a little bit of black left. You can take this off. I find that if I press it, the steam makes it come off a lot easier. So just stretch it out and give it a steam. Make sure it's all nice and flat for when it goes into the front of the frame. Next part is to centralise it into your frame. So just lay it in, press it all down into the corners. So press that down and then this little thing comes back into play and it's good because you can press your work down and it will stay in place. So take your lights and you just pop them in, squish them down. back on, leaving your light for your, um, your lead out. Close your little black metally bits down so it's all nice and tight. And there you have it, a little light box. We've turned the lights off so you can see a little bit better. And that took, the stitching took 15 minutes. My, my um, brother embroidery machine does do things really, really quickly. It's got something like 10,000 stitches a minute. So a single needle embroidery machine would take longer. So running over costs, the design I got from urbanthreads.com at around $2.50. The frame was just over three pounds. The lights were 75 pence. 
and the cotton calico is pennies really so you've got a great little gift for a great little price <laughs> thank you so much for watching this is amanda from jelly babies over and out welcome back of course to the craft show where we are busy doing some bottle wrapping with marie hello um how are we getting on because obviously we, but when we left you before they cleared off and yeah. left us for a bit yeah i've been carrying on yeah she's got a little bit further down obviously it does take time mm. um but we're getting there we're getting, we're getting there, there. So, so we've changed the color we start off we're using double-sided tape we're still using double-sided tape yeah mm -hmm. okay i forgot to mention earlier about when we're wrapping um, obviously, you need to keep pushing it up, but don't pull too tight. Right. What's um, the reason for that? It just makes it go really, really tight, and it just weakens it. And okay. I find it's obviously you want to to pull slightly, but yes. not, um, you know. So you're gonna, so it's really, really gonna stick to the tape. Yes. And you're not gonna be able to give it that that edge up. Plus, if you've got the um, the thickness by not pulling it, mm -hmm. it just gives you. I just find that it attaches to the next bit of yarn just slightly better. Okay. It just gives you... So it keeps the consistency, doesn't it? That's Why not, it, yeah. Not putting it too tightly. So you just keep pushing it up just to make sure it looks quite tight. Brilliant. Okay. So once we've got the bottle wrapped, and again, we can wrap it. We've talked about wrapping it in decoupage, yeah, yeah. yarn... Uh, twine. Twine, all sorts of different things. Um, and whatever, whether it's bottles or, or jars or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, we're then going to... Add some embellishments. We are. Okay. Is that easy to do? It, am I even going to be able to do that? Well, we can let you have a try if you want. It's 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 literally just a case of cutting things out. It was um, a bit of a loaded question because I noticed that you put in front of me some scissors, a pen, yeah, and some so, felt. I'm not quite sure where that all came from. So what I want you to do <laughs> is these. Is um I want you to draw around this. Mm -hmm. This flower, okay. I haven't pre. This has already been pre-cut for me. You can yes. use a die cutter, yeah. or you can buy them already, mm -hmm. already cut offline. Okay. Um, but like I said earlier, it's nice to do a bit of fabric. It's, okay. it's nice to uh, do the crafting yourself. Right. So I'm just going to draw around these, and while I'm working, yeah. What are you going to be doing? I'm just going to carry on having a break. Of course not. Would oh. I do that? So I might just carry on doing, just wrapping some more. I'm getting you to do it in yellow. I thought, you know, with Easter, mm -hmm. the yellow and green, so mm -hmm. we could do some yellow and green flowers. Okay. Good stuff. It's quite nice. It's relaxing, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's relaxing. We like that. What's the phrase that crafters absolutely love to use for relax? Mindfulness. Is I that need, right? um, I think is I need right? another pen. Need another pen? Yeah. I'm nearly finished with this one. I'm going to put oh, okay. scissors in a minute. Nearly all finished. So what sort oh, of thing? Oh, miraculously one. Thanks, Steve. Okay. Steve wasn't on tea duty today. So we'll go round. So he's had a bit of time to find a that. pen. Just go round. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I said before. But if you're after perfection... Exactly, some people... Do you like them too perfect? Oh, I've got some crimpy scissors here. They're probably not right for cutting out the flowers, are they? Do you want to pass me your scissors? Can I pinch your scissors? There you go. Cheers, Chuck. Right, so we go. So, um, what's quite nice is this is, we were saying earlier, is something that you can do with the kids as well, isn't it? It is, yes. You might want to supervise or do, supervise or do the cutting, but in terms of the actual demonstration uh, and, the, and the craft, Cutting the bottle, not cutting the bottle, decorating the bottle. Decorating the bottle. It's something you can do with the kids. Oh, yeah, you can let them go wild. You can let them, you know, they can stick the things on exactly, buttons, uh, you know, anything out of their own craft box. My, I know my daughter has her own craft box at home. Um, what sort of things does she have in her craft box? She has felt, she has, well, we tend to keep a lot of wrapping paper so she can cut the pictures out. Um, but yeah, all different, all different stuff really. Glitter, glitters. Well, she's got lots of glitter. Oh, glitter girls love glitter. But don't um, they? some boys love glitter. Gets everywhere. I think. Keep her out of my craft box. But the she um, has her own. You used to get those. Do you remember? Do you remember those um, felt sort of crafty things you used to have? 
called was it called fuzzy felt fuzzy felt yeah we've got some of that fuzzy felt which is probably a brand name but it doesn't doesn't matter because we're saying nice things about fuzzy felt if you want to send some um but you could use that because it's that kind of thing isn't it oh i've i've made a bit of a cock up because <laughs> what i've done is i've I've drawn it round on that side thinking, oh, well, I'll cut round that. It doesn't matter if you'll see the line, but didn't check to make sure there was nothing on the other side. It doesn't matter. Okay. We can, you can just trim the edges, mm -hmm. edges again. So okay. then we trim Ooh, this nice. next one. Okay. Did you want to do that for me as well? I can do if you want me to. Do you trust me? I do trust you, oh. yeah. And then what I can do, is if we just add a... You can draw these freehand if you're if you're any good. I'm not very good at drawing freehand. Shall I use your scissors there? You can. Good stuff. So in your um, in your frames that you make as well, on pretty little pictures, you've got oh, somebody's ringing. Get the phone. Somebody phoning in to say. We really like the quality of your flower cutting out. Very good. Quite possibly. So in your um, pictures that you make, you use Scrabble letters. I do, yes. And I noticed that you have bought some Scrabble letters. I have today. bought some today. And I think that's a really nifty idea. How are you going to be using those? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to be sticking these, these letters onto our already wrapped bottle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this bottle. Okay. Because I think it might just slightly be in the way. There's Blue Peter moment. This is. Ta da! Okay. So, this is the one that I made earlier. Okay. Um, but to start with, what we're going to do is I'm going to attach these felt flowers okay. together using the glue gun. Yeah. So, I've got some already that have been cut out. My flowers, um, not, it's, I suppose it's kind of natural because it's not perfect, Marie. Is that okay? I may need some more glue in here. There we go. Not bad. It's okay. But it's the first time I've done it. So you've got a glue gun there. Let's have a look. Are they Perfect. expensive to buy, glue guns? Uh, no, I think. I want to say this was about a fiver. Really? So, no, not expensive at all. And where can I get something like that? I got this from Hobbycraft, but mm -hmm. you can get it from any low... I'm assuming most craft stores mm -hmm. will supply these. So will them... Well, that's that a good on. idea because I thought you were just going to stick that straight to the bottle, but in actual fact. No, 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 no. So we've got. You've been thinking ahead. We have. And we'll just stick these. This so is quite careful. a popular thing at the moment, isn't it? Layering the flowers. It's quite a popular thing out there it with is. the uh, uh, with the crafting. It is, and you can you can then add your own your own buttons, your own embellishments, mm -hmm. diamantes, sort of anything that you want to add. So what's that? Is that a button? That's just that? a button, yeah. So any any buttons that fall off your kids' clothes or your own? Or if they fall off your own. There we yeah, go. I like that. There we go. That's one done. And I mean that took what five minutes, so it doesn't take very long. So we've no. cut those out. Yeah, we've cut those out and and, uh, and just laid them up. That's a great idea. Exactly. Of course, um, I don't think. There are, um, if, I don't know if there's any workshops that do anything like this. Is there any workshops that, that do anything like this? Please message us. In fact, any kind of workshop mm, that you've got, yes, I'd love message to us and let us know because uh, we'd like to feature on the show. In fact, we have uh, been sent in this workshop uh, details here for it's a needle felting workshop. You'll see the picture on the screen now. And uh, they've been making some lovely needle felting items. Uh, and Alison Bunning has sent that one in for us from the uh, the craft centre in Bourne. And that's good. So, you know, do just keep sending in those uh, those workshop details. We love to share those on the craft show, of course. So, what we do, what are you adding there now? She's jumping ahead, look, and I'm not ready. What are you adding in there? So, what I've got here is just, it's literally just some sequins. Okay. Um, these actually uh, they came out of one of my daughter's Christmas presents, and I've stolen them from her. <laughs> and I thought, are they? It. You know, they could do. I could do something with them. You do loads of things with sequins, actually, can't you? You can, yeah. And these, 
I just thought I'd separate these two colours here mm. with the sequins, but they're not they're not wanting to play ball right now. So we'll spin that round. It looks very pink and glittery. Exactly. So hopefully, whoever whoever gets this prize likes pink and glitter. Yeah. Oh, we like a bit of pink and glitter, don't we? We like a bit of pink. Whatever and glitter. tickles you fancy. Yeah. A bit fiddly to be fair it's amazing though how you can take something that let's be honest with the other chucked away in the recycling i keep bin, everything everything and you can use, use sort of the last bits and you and when you think about all the shapes of bottles that you can get as well because they were, we were talking about the, just the the brandy bottles that you can get as well champagne bottles are going to be talked oh, about jam yes, jars the, and yes yeah, uh, spirit bottles they come spirit in all, bottles. all sorts of Different shapes and sizes. Yes. Not that. Yeah, we well, think you like you've got like the Jack Daniels and the Jim Beam, and they're square ones, as well. So sort yes, of bourbon yes. bottles, aren't they? I haven't actually tried those. Hmm. Um, but that's something they I'd would like. be good for the Mexican-y idea that I came with the little Mexican they would. hat. Inside. That could be your like task. That. Don't start setting me tasks. I'm not very good at completing tasks. <sighs> you've seen my cutting out. <laughs> life is just peaceful exactly that's and that's why i like it you know it's it's something that relaxing at the end of the night like i said you can either do it while the kids are awake or you know once they've gone to bed so we'll just snip that off and like we said earlier it's the sort of thing that you can be working on and you can put it down um so, yeah and sort of come back to it can't you that's what i like Oh, we'll add that in there. Fantastic. Um, and then what I've got here, these again I've just bought online. So what are they? Oh, little just, just, butterflies. Just little butterflies with a little diamond. You've got some tape. cutouts here as well. I have, yeah. We're going to add some of those on too. So if you've got a die cutting machine, there's absolutely no limit, of course, uh, as to what sort of shapes you can cut out, how many you can cut out, and so on. If you don't have a die cutting machine, do you have a die cutting machine? I don't know. So you can just get these online. You again. can, yeah. Pre cut, delivered within a couple of days. Yeah. Brilliant. So we'll stick that one on there. It's looking good. It's really coming together, isn't it? It is. They, you know, it, it just, it's just being patient, really. And then it's we'll... really coming together. Don't forget, of course, if you're watching this, uh, you'll be watching this online. We're not on regular, uh, we call it regular telly, terrestrial telly or satellite or anything like that. We're online. Um, if you are watching online, please remember, click that subscribe button. That makes a big difference to us um, here on the craft show because uh, it helps Google, uh, not Google, uh, well, sure, Google as well, but YouTube, it helps them to rank us so that more people see the shows. And the more people that see the shows, Marie, um, you know, the more shows we're going to keep making, aren't we? Exactly. So keep press subscribe and share. And share. And take a look at my Facebook page. Yes, pretty little pictures. We like that. So these are the Scrabble letters that I'm using that I use for my frames as well. Mm -hmm. um, I've just gone for the wooden effect today, mm -hmm. um, but I tend to use the ivory quite a lot there. The, the ivory the most ones, popular. they're the ones that come in the they're game, They're the original, they? yeah. yeah. Yeah, so people tend to prefer these, but I think this gives it more of a bit of a shabby chic look, so mm. we've got sort of a contemporary, contemporary feel, like but it. also with a shabby chic twist on it and whether you want to do um whether you want to do um uh can't think of the word now whether it's for home decor or whether you want to give it away as a present yeah, all yeah sorts so of we could personalize this i mean especially obviously we've got mother's day coming up yes of course um yeah you could add mother on here mm -hmm. i could i mean it, I've even done names, so you could have your children's names and I oh, could entwine them like yeah. you would on a Scrabble board. Yes. Um, but yeah, you can personalise them to, to whatever so you want, really. Teacher presents, presents for your teachers. Exactly, yeah. Say thank you. Yeah, you can even pretend you've made it yourself. Yes. I'm sure your teachers would love that. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely job. Add a bit more glue into that. I can't believe we can get a glue gun for like five quid. So cheap. I mean, it, this might have been, it may have been half price, but 
It, I mean, it's only a tiny, tiny small one. Mm. Um, but it does the job. They all do the same thing, don't they, really? Oh, yeah. And are we going to be giving this away? Yes, I'm more than happy to give it away. Tough now, because I put you on the spot. <laughs> no, we were going to give it away anyway. But, um, of course, if you want to get your hands on Marie's crafty bottle there, it'll be empty, though, when you get it, um, all you need to do is visit our Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com forward slash the craft show TV and hit share, 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 share that page. And we will at random pick somebody out that shared the page and we'll be in touch um, to get you details as to where we can get it to. Um, because, because it's, um, it's nice to share. That was my, um, what are you doing? She's My chucking stuff all over the shop My out, man. Uh, oh, she's got it. You got it now? <laughs> I've got it. Wow. That's looking really good. And don't forget, of course, as well, to please do check out the website uh, for the Craft Centre in Bourne, which is our home here at the Craft Show. Have a look and uh, just keep up to date with uh, what's available on there. It is thecraftcentrebourne.com, I believe, but details will be on your screen. Please do have a look. There we go. Look at that. You can add, I mean, you, you can add more or less onto it. So. More diamantes, whatever. So we can have a look I at that. Know. Look at that. And when you think, I mean, apart from um, we skipped ahead very, very slightly in terms of time wrapping the bottle, but yeah. only slightly. It's yeah. been made really in almost real time. Oh, yes. It? Yes, definitely. Yeah. You, another hour or so on top of that. And you could, you can have this complete in a couple of hours, really. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um. It's not hard at all. Anyone can try it. Very easy. We like that a lot. We like that a lot. Well, listen, we are rapidly running out of time. We haven't got much time left uh, at all. But, Marie, we would love you to come back onto another show and to. do something else for yeah, us. Yeah, brilliant. We've really enjoyed it today. And it goes to show you that you can take odds and sods from around the house. You can take scrap you items can. and a bit of time and a bit of love and you can make something that's really uh, beautiful and worthwhile to either put on display at home or give away. You can, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, don't forget, have a look at Marie's page, Pretty Little Pictures. Please do keep on sending in your crafty creations as well. We love it when you send share, uh, share items on the page, whether they say the craft show or just post up on the page that we can have a look at. We really like to share your crafty creations. And if you've made, after watching the show, uh, one of the bottles at home, please post a picture of that as well. Please do. Yeah, we'd love to see it. Well, until next time, uh, all that's left to do, I think, is to say... Keep crafting, isn't it? Keep crafting. Keep crafting. Shall we say after three? One, two, three. Keep, Keep crafting. crafting. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye. <laughs>